Hey guys, it's your girl Shy, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back at you again with another hair video because guess what? Girl, want get this ear thing done pack like you know, and I want to learn with me while i'm on my hair journey so anyways let's get right into the video i'm currently using my got to be spray to lay down the stocking cap on my head because girl want that ball look you know the ball cap method that's how i try to accomplish so i'm just spraying it around here and then i'm going to let it dry so see me there i spray it in and i rub it in you see me i did kind of push back my edges prior to this but i'm going to cut out my ears you know because your ears have to be out they don't stay in the stocking cap so you know you just bore a little hole on the side of it and then you just take your ears and pull it forward you know pull it forward so your ears just fit right into the equation see there wait there i think piece more there so i'm just fixing it and i'm just gonna do the same step on the other side see there very easy just go bore one lick hole over the next ears and then I just dry it through. I open and get the step. I just bore the oil and just dry it through. Dry it through while the um the gotta be spray is drying. You see? So the spray are drying at the meantime. But I'm going to go in and put a little more spray. Because as I said, you want the wig to be melted. You see me? You want the wig to look like say a year year. You can just make sure you spray it in and rub it with your finger. Okay, now it's time for me to blow dry it because I was going to make it ear dry, but your girl need to hurry up and get into the installment. You know, I mean, I really have no patience when they come on to anything. So I'm just blow drying it on cool because we can't take nothing up on me. So yeah, I'm just blow drying it, blow drying it, blow drying it. So, you know, so when may I do the recording, uh, you guys tell me about him job down. And I guess they must say, I drink no tea, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I like tea, no, so I guess I'm going to start drinking tea coming on up down the road. Anyways, your girl still have blow dry the ear because I want the ear for dry good. As I said, this video is a step-by-step -step video, so I'm not skip out nothing. I'm going to see the ear dry good, 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 good. One little piece of my ear did itch out, so I'm going to just take the little tail part, of the tail comb I'm pop off and just push it back, push it back, push it back. It's time to put the glue around my head now and the glue I will be using is the bowl hole active 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 yes I'm just gonna shake it out of the buckle and just put it around my head put it around my head I am not putting it around my head to actually lay my wig no I'm putting it around my head to lay the stocking cap a little bit better so you know I just I put a little bit around it because it looked like some got to be spray I run out I forgot to get some so me I forgot to make it work so you know I'm just gonna put the glue around it and make it do the magic so see pretty and I'm going to use that piece of iron again and rub out the glue out of my head after rub it out, you know, rub it out, you know, want it too whitey whitey under your wig whenever you put, even go put on the wig. Even though, as I said, I'm just using it to lay down the stocking cap. I still no want it mess with my wig at all. So just rubbing it out, rubbing it out and make sure say, it go in. Lord Jesus, look what I said, it got to be spread when I'm still a spray pan top of it. Anyways, I guess I'm spray a little pant up at it and uh, after that I just press it down with my finger and then I'm going to dry it on cool because as I tell you before, I can't bother with nothing to at up in my head and burn me. So see it there? Girl, I blow dry it. I have a blow dry it, make it clear. You see, all right, this is just clear, clear. You already look there. I saw it's supposed to look. I have another way about I saw it's supposed to look clear. Clear, 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 clear. Because as I said, we need a smooth install, a nice install, a smooth install. I wanna go see the blow drying process because when I want to know, just go put the blow dry up on it a little bit and grab it off. Make sure the ear dry good. 
So I was doing a test right here when you see me hold the um, stocking cap and I push it up for see if it dry enough and if it 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 lay down enough for me. It wasn't so I'm spray like more got to be spray and just I dry it again. Because as I said guys, it have to dry good and it have to lay down because you don't want it to show underneath a wig like that and you want it neat under the bottom you want it slay down upon your head. So now I will be using a razor to cut away the stocking cap that I don't need. A zipper. And this is how you cut away the stocking cap. You want to cut off everything. You don't want to leave nothing at all. No, sir, it looks like sir, right, so I fight with the, 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 the razor because ain't no way it just not nah cut it, not nah cut it, not nah cut the razor stubborn. The way the razor coming like it to a mash up my insta. See that? It dull. So guys, get a sharp razor or a sharp scissors. I did have a sharp scissors I use. For do them job ya, yeah, I can't find it. I don't know where it is at all, at all, at all. But I just still did a fight to do something and I try to cut off the excess um stocking cap. As I say, it's a detailed video. Some want to see everything cut with the cap. Good, 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 good. See how you cut with the cap, yeah? You just, just uh, cut it away, cut it away, cut it away. You know what? None did it. And guys, you cut it up to where we the lay. You remember where we lay down the got to be spray and we put the glue and ray, ray, ray. You just uh, cut it, go up to this, so as close up to this uh, as possible. Just cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. Yes, I still a cut. I'm wanting a seat, so... I'm not fast forward, not enough for so long, and watch the hair cut out. So, I'm just a the cutting did end up take long, so I'm showing us to just get a sharp razor like that one that I'm just show you for use. And now we're just gonna take the glue and basically glue down the chan 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 chan. We left back off of where we was cutting it. Do you understand? We just put the glue around it, and we basically just gonna do the same thing. Like what we did do when um would I put on the, the, the cap and would I try to lay down the cap. No, we just try to lay down the excess fly, 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 fly. If you have a scissors, you can cut it out and then do it. But obviously, me don't have scissors. So some little chan, 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 chan left back. But yeah, your girl is just putting down the glue on it. But now I'm going to just put one little layer. We are going to put both two layers. But yeah, I'm just put it down on it and then I am going to use the edge of the tail comb again and use it, lay it down. Just rub it out, rub it out. I bring it all the way down and rub it out, rub it out, rub it out. You see all my tell the same little cut cut they did for cut away. I'm going to try a bit, I said I'm going to give my problem in my week. So the next time I'm going to do a video with the phone, I'm going to go get a scissors. I don't know where my scissors gone and I feel like that's going to be a problem but see the guys just basically pushing it down pushing it down pushing it down and making it dry even though it's not supposed to look so yes yeah look I don't like when it looks so I need it to look a little bit more neat I understand but yeah now we're blow drying it on cool <laughs> feet dry I'm going to look a kissy face this so and a little wink, wink, wink. And see the guys, we still a blow dry. We just a blow dry, we just a blow dry, we just a blow dry. Because we want it clear. Now we're going to take the tail comb bottom again. And just check it. Make sure you say, you know, see nothing. We are cake up and everything just dry. Now I'm just going to use the razor and cut off. For, for cut off, right? This are my ears. The split, one like a split, right? Yeah, this will be careful, you know. Sure everything cut off the this day. No, day. Cut off the next the back, side. I just basically tie it and take it and push it up under my Just make sure everything <laughs> clean. Oh, that's all that we use. Anyway, we push it up under my hair. No, did it. No, right up under this. Yeah. After that, we're just going to go and in with the glue. No, a serious oh, time. No. Now we're going to put the glue on the head, head for basically put all on it. So, me in my head and do all of this. Not done. Much more for not done. Feel nice, I see. Just get into it. Right, before me, I go finish glue down the head, I realize, you know, so I'm going to look on the wig, no, not all. 
Like, from the clean up the lace and whatever, I never look back on it. So now I just uh, look on the wig, I comb it out and make sure it's everything nice and ready. All if it's never ready and nice, it's still the go up on the head. Make sure it's everything nice and ready for put it down. I'm going to use my wax stick and just put it in at the front part of the ear. So dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it. That's my wax stick from the chocolate hair factory. And actually this wig came from the chocolate hair factory too. But yeah guys, I just use my hot comb and I push it back. Push it back. I don't want to tear out the ear. Like the last time, when I said I tear out the ear with the hot comb. I like, I don't know me, no. But anyways, um, I don't know what I do this so. I do this so. Oh, it's need up on the flat end of my wipe you off. But yeah guys, just push it back. Push it back. You want all of the flyaways them for go right in. You want the edges for go right in. You know what? Nothing left out when you put on the wig by your head for go up in the glue and cut jam and make your lace look dirty and re re re. So I got my tail comb and just making sure everything is pushed right back. As I say, push it back. But see the wig there, guys. Now it's time for glue the ear for real, for real, for real. You don't know the glue already. Bowl hole active. And now I just have put it round the ear for real now. Jesus, how long am I going to take for do that? So yeah, guys. Putting the, the glue around the ear. We're just using small dots. That look like small dots? Yeah. Small dots. And just I put it right, 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 right round. I want to see everything right as so. You know, just look good out on the eyes and see look 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 guys see there make sure it go round and if you use enough glue stop stingy with the glue because if you don't if you don't put enough glue the wig gonna drop off it and you don't want the wig drop off it and shame up our road right so yeah now we are going to use my wooden spoon from jimbo's coconut and just rub it rub out the glue because you want the glue for you don't want it cake up and it took a cake up if you don't rub it out so just rub it out on your head rub it out on your head like okay so if you watch my other um lace front video on the system i did actually put the glue on one side put the ear and then go over the next side put the glue and put the ear right so now i'm gonna know what go up in my head i'm going do that technique which is putting the glue right around your hair you know either technique work you just have to herb and do it <laughs> anyways guys you know same step putting on the glue making sure it dry so the trick with this right you see how it look whitey whitey now it can't look whitey whitey. It have to clear. So yeah, try to get it clear, 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 clear. Good. See how it look clear already? Yeah. When going fast to the ear, cause we now run go put on wig, but it and make um the install look like crosses. So we are hot comb the wig again, cause it got me see some more flyaways and we need them to be gone. So yeah, just hot comb it up. Hot comb, hot comb, hot comb. Yes, guys, this is my wig from the chocolate hair factory. See there? It's nice. A long time after we got another new wig. But see me hot comb it up and ready it up for make it put on my head. So I'm ready to put on another layer of glue. I'm gonna see how it dry and tacky. Look there. Look good. So yeah, I just uh, put small dots of glue around here again. Just like I'm teaching the last time. Just put it on around your head. Put it on around your head. And then you know I'm going to use the little soap man. Make sure it's eh, it spread out. It's spread out. You just want to spread it out the right way. So you guys see it then? Eh? Spread it out the right way. Pine it. Your head. Watch detailed video. Video detailed. Bad, 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 bad. You can't tell no friend about that video. Yeah? So, send it go to friend them. You know, no friend them. I love the wig them and them something there. Send it go give them. I make them know. Say, here a girl. You can buy the supplies them. And learn to do your ear at your yard. Save some money for 2022. And put in our business. The same time, me never got a ear just at this time. And do my own ear right or so. Me just send the money. Go give me my, my um, printer. And make him start print up some more for more plan I'm gonna see because that will probably run me like a uh, fourteen grand for gun mandeville. So me see if me can do my ear next week and guess what? Uh, my next business up and running see me. You get me I say I have to be a small girl in a them time yeah. Oh yes, enough with the chit chat. Time for focus on the head. 
so right as i know me still have the glue a dry i'm still not the ear see the ear there look and comb stick up in her ear but see the area guys so the back very very curly but the frontal not curly again so probably i don't know i don't know probably done in the future me can switch up the frontal or what, but knowing me me know i'm gonna do that Anyways, um, but no, no, one part of my face did just look away, so I'm just taking it in a routine. We're going to put the last layer of glue now. So this is the third layer of glue. The third, right? I don't know. Look at my last contact. But same step. Tap, tap it. Pan your head. Tap, tap it. Tap, tap it. Tap, tap it. And then you're going to just go in it. When I see how I tap, tap it too. And when I tap, tap it. Fast forward that part because I want to see how to put the glue around you here you have to put it right near to the stocking cap a little bit and then you just you know what tap tap it just to see like when the teacher a while ago as me say tap tap it look oh, look look at me i dig down the place i look for the something see something yeah take the something now and i go rub out the, the the um the glue rub it out rub it right out rub it rub it rub it rub it no <laughs> more stare at me Lord God, if you reach so far in another video, you're a real one and I love you. Um, thanks for supporting me. Um, thanks for watching my little videos and all. And, and I already know about that part, yeah, but I'm still a show now. So, you know, I'm just going to fast forward it now because I don't know the step of the same step. Put it on your head, rub it out and make it clear. Like it's supposed to look like clear tape when you're done. So just put it on your head, rub it out, make it look like clear tape. You just do this step over and over and over and over again because basically I saw the glue I got lay. And you see if you have the tacky part, it I gonna show in your lace. And you don't want the you don't want the, the, the white nasty part of showing your lace. So you have to rub it out and do the step them good, 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 good girl. You know me not saying no fun. So the good part of the wall we are weird pan, time for put on the wig. So you know I'm gonna take the comb and my hand and just push it back. Push back the flyaways when I had come from before. And basically, I just I go put it on for my head. But I have to clip up the back because I don't want the back in my way. So I just take a little clip and clip up the back. See it there? Time for put it on. And you see now, I just I go drag it forward. Make it go pan the glue. Because you have to put it pan the glue on the right spot. And the part is tricky, tricky, you know. Lad got that woman on me so the party on my head. Whoa, it's the wig all Oh, my figure for put on the strap. I hope on the wig have on strap though, God, because the strap on the back of the wig make the wig fit your more. You make it the wig tight up on your head. And, you know, the right way. So, yeah, guys, see me a struggle, struggle, struggle. I struggle for put it down on my head, but me a try my thing and I shall get it right. So see me, I me, I take my little time, you know, because I don't want to rush the process, you know. And guys, the thing I'm learning is say you have to have patience when you do them little something. Yeah. You have to have patience, you can't rush it. But yeah, see me there, I bring it down, pony. Take my little time and I bring it down. Like each time I bring it down, I use my finger and press the lace on top of the glue so it can go in the right way. And what Sammy did get up? and go look because the thing is it's hard you know it's like practice make perfect but it's hard for your record and i put on the wig because i don't know me and the ear just a me just a little girl and one little step them and just a check them and it's sorry about that guys and you get up and go press it down but at the same thing all that i do i just put it round your head and press it put it down pan the glue and press it pan the glue press it down press it down press it down Right, so I want to see me now, I just I use the comb and I press it in the glue. Because you have to press it in the glue, you know. You have to press it in the glue, make it suck on, pan it. Suck on, pan it. You understand? You have a glue down nails and you put the, the, nail, the glue. And then you put the, the, the nails on top of it and you press it. You have to press it so you can stick on together. I don't mean, know I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm talking about. Make sure you don't skip a line with the process, you know. Make sure it go right in. Because that process is important. Alright guys. Right now, I'm going to do something we call spot check. That's what I call it. I call it spot check. Basically, I'm going to go in and see which part of the lace is lie down. Take the comb, the 
the tail comb and basically put glue underneath it and make it clear and then put it back down guys when you do that step here now make the glue go pan the lace you know, okay if you make the glue go pan the lace me already tell you know when glue go pan the lace it basically will get a little whitey whitey sitting we are sneak out of the lace you know want that sometimes i saw we go wrong but right there so now me i dry it me i dry it me i dry it me i dry it and then use my finger and press it down so see me there see me there me go focus on the back you now because you see the wig have the look umpty dumpty look. When you ever see the, the boy when he's just in, when he posts the meme them, you ever see him post a meme when he the girl them wig look like say I him do them and him not do ear, yeah. The reason why your wig have the look umpty dumpty look around her back are because you know, take the comb sometime and shoot it under. You have to tighten the brassier strap too. You have to you know the wig them have a little brassier strap underneath it. Anyways, the glue dry you now, so I'm going to go in and basically like put it down. Press it down. It look like said a freaking glass in our way. But yes, it's gotta press it down, press it down, press it right down. Right, right, right down. Now skip the line from the process your mama. Press it down. And make sure it's gonna get all of the supply the moment. I'm not gonna need the co everybody asking about that head banya. Another one here. The next I eat wait. The next one. But this is just elastic. You can get the elastic here at pings. Can get it at pings. But basically, guys, I'm just gonna take the elastic and tie it around my head because you want the glue for basically stay down. It looks like so eventually I'm gonna add one of them like a dryer. You know the dryer them where the ear just I put you under. But I think eventually I'm going to get one, but you know things take time. As my practice and get better at this, I will end up you know getting every little thing I'm gonna need. The only thing I'm gonna need, I need a better hot comb. And I need one of them like a dryer or something there. But yeah, I just got to dry it for the meantime with my hand dryer. In the pan cool now, my mind the pan cool. I have it pan hot, 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 hot. Because you have to basically melt the lace and the glue pan your head. You understand? Yeah, so yeah, I just got to blow dry it right out. I can't just fast forward your stuff, you know, but basically, still a blow dry it here because you have to blow dry it good, 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 good. As I say, make sure it's a blue dry part hot. Right now, what I want to see me I do is basically just like a comb out the ear. A time for the ear comb out. I try to figure out what I'm going to do to the ear. I never know. But I just comb it out and go look something to catch it up. So when I see me come back, when I see me come back catch up. And now I'm going to just part out the edges. And that I'm going to focus on now. Parting out the edges. And while me apart and I look for the edges, my eyes so I press down the lace same way with the tip of the tail comb. And on this part, it depends on how much baby ear you want. When I know me love baby ear, even though I'm not good at baby ear, I love baby ear. So when I know me I got to take out whole leap because I just so me steer. So it depends on how much baby ear you want and the type of baby ear you want. And you know what I do? I cause me lazy because you know I say. After me did pick out the baby ear name something there, if me never so lazy and it tired, me could I really get a tweezer and pluck out right there so a little bit. Probably my baby ear them would have look well. Never see that down the end end part of the video. I don't know me I check out the video for, but yes, guys, you just gotta take out the amount of baby hair that you want. As I said, if you have a tweezer and you have the time, you can just pluck out right there. So. And this step right here is very important, guys, because your lace can lay down on your head. And if the baby ear them not look good, your ear style just look like say it not look good. And just this is how you do it. As I see me have the step them. You just part it out. As I say, guys, get a tweezer and you can just pluck out in between the line. I'm going to go in and do that today um later on today because you know a late night mother do that ear style and as you do that make sure say so you spot check your lace also spot check your lace and get the got to be spray and spray right in the so right up in the perimeter there open it open it open it you just spray it spray it spray it and you just uh, press it down same way and then you're just going to get your elastic and tie around it I got tie elastic around it, you know, and as so now you get the melt, the extra melt, melt down, melt but down. Yes, to guys, after that, you're going to take the blow dryer and make sure it's so you dry out 
in the sun because you want the melt look. You remember, I keep on a stress the melt look. I so say you get the melt look by drying in there. So yeah, you just take the blow dryer and you dry it, dry it. I went to burn you. You just dry it. But I really love phone of uh, follow them step you at home and actually uh, tag me in one of them finished product yeah, because. I really want you guys to use these because, as I say, guys, a whole heap of money you can save. Look there, me save fourteen thousand dollar by doing my hair by myself. Because yeah, my hair would have probably come up to a uh, seven grand, but you know from yesterday to Mandeville, me go on yam on the road. Yes, I for going at the car, ray, ray, ray. You know, I'm 14 grand, I save easy, easy, this so I'm going to just take that 14 grand and put it in my business. But yes, guys, back to the ear. Now, I'm going to put the wax stick and me a hot comb. Yeah, hot comb in the hair because you don't want no fly away and you want this up for neat, 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 neat to the brim. So, while the front part a layer and a melt, you just add comb and add comb them guys it probably burn you when you try for add comb it but add comb these you know yes are the edges are the edges this one to take out so yes guys now i'm pulling down here and combing it out combing it out nice because more i figure out what i'm gonna do with the ear like i'm gonna know if i'm gonna leave it curly or if i'm gonna flat it out or what can you see like the back part of the ear is so curly but yet still the frontal just beat out the frontal part beat out. So I need to end up blow dry it. I don't know. Like come and I say, all right, my primary gonna use my curl night, my big curl night and jump some curl night. So my come so boom and I blow dry it. Blow dry it, blow dry it, blow dry it. Like honestly, it and I go realize it. I foolish me need to do this because I never need for blow dry the ear, but as I said, I try to figure out what I'm gonna do to the ear. So my blow dry it. See there? Blow dry it clean, 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 blow dry it. Blow dry it right out. Blow dry it. And guys, I said if I have a straight ear, I'm not going to put it on. I don't want the bone straight ear. Just a look. Blow dry the ear first. Then you add comb it. So yeah, that is an important step too if you have straight ear. Remember the Humpty Dumpty something that I tell you about where they draw on the box? See it there? See it? Let's see right the sound of me a comb. You see look on top. So yeah, I'm going to take my add comb and change that. As I said, guys, I'll get a hot, hot comb. I'll add it in the day. Because I think them said the place and them. Remember, bundle something. Them have it. Um, but yes, guys. Hot comb out back this so. Hot comb out back this so. Okay, you don't want the umpty dumpty look. You see, my hot comb is not hot enough. Because there's no way. It should have flatter. But yeah, guys. Um, I think the hot comb I need to get is a when you am Anders or something like that, so I don't remember how you pronounce, but I'm going to put the name in the description. Yeah, that are the best hot comb. I've been through, I've been through so much hot comb from last year, the year before, I just keep on a change hot comb, but I realized that the ear just had them use the Anders or whatever, whatever it name, and I eat me to get because I want the best of the best. So I'm going to get a hot comb and I need to get the dryer, the dryer system, so... So yeah guys, um here you go. If you don't know me can get the dryer in a Jamaica, make me know. Put it in the description. Come I can't but I forgot I don't know for Amazon right now. Come I know it more than fifty dollar. I'm gonna want custom can kill me. Alright guys, so a time for take off the elastic from round the head now. You see I'ma take off the elastic and round it look good. I'ma see it. Oh no. It just want like a makeup in it, but you see how it melt down on my head. I'm not telling the foolish. I'm not a foolish girl. I'm not telling the foolish. Now I'm just a dry it like more. Cause you know, you know me, perfectionist. I want to make sure it's ready. But you know, see how it melt down on my head? See it eh? Melt down nice. No, my scalp that not look on right there. So watch girl scalp. Jesus Christ, watch your just a... Hi! <laughs> Why? No, sir. I'm glad I come out come to this. But yeah, I just had look on the edges. So I'm coming and say, Jesus Christ, at this point. Why well, feel like say, this or just feel loose? So. But I'm an ESD stuck back this. Or, so I get it out and thing and thing. And you know, trying to pre the edges. I see how much edges I left out. If I left out too much edges, are away, you know, whatever, whatever. But I'm a scalp that nobody can tell me. Say, I'm a scalp that I look into. See the scalp there? I'm a scalp that fully, fully, my scalp. 
But yeah, guys, as I said, a party, you just have to know how much baby ear you want. And even if I take out too much baby ear, this so the party we can probably put in back somewhere or whatever, whatever. As I say, this is a step by step video, so I don't want to skip out nothing to be honest. I just want to see everything. This is how you spot check your ear, you use the, the back of the tail, comb your press it down. Because you know, you probably will not get it on the first try if you eat tough like mine. But practice make perfect. And the moral of the story, me and you go just learn and perfect this craft right So, See it there? Comb it out. Make sure it's not nothing. Not look a fool in it. Nothing. Not, 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 not at all. You see me? So it look like me did. It look white, white. So I did this so brush out and thing and thing. Just make you not see how... Oh, the ear for look in a every way. I feel like in the day look a little bit white. See me even though looking for me yeah, so I literally my skin me and see. But they say do to me I use a little bit of mirror and me want open down a face and sit into a that you know when you like if the mirror did in front of me like where the camera there I would have probably see better but you guys going in with the hot comb again and making sure everything laid back a problem when we get the next ad comb you know you say we did have the next ad comb but i show on something but yes guys um no i'm just parting the middle part because it's gonna be a middle part so i'm just gonna make sure the middle part is a boston middle part come on it's a good 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 middle part want a nice boston middle part on the area because you know my always are those side parts so i'm gonna practice the middle part right now but yes guys like you have to make sure you have a nice part in guys the comia is everything you say if you're gonna take on this weak thing you have to have one of the comia i did end up get up and go put back the rubber band around here because you know i did spray the something night and sit down i want it lay in that was my edge um flat iron that i plugged in because you know i soon time for do the edges them now I just come out the edges and I look on them and the whole time I think in my mind say Jesus Christ why I take out so much edges me and the ear just why I never take out one little piece of edges. Right this and now I see me a hot comb the edges, hot comb it in again about the second time I had comb it right. But yeah guys hot combing is very important it's a very important step so you know why I miss it out. Now it's actually time for me to cut the edges because them something they long even though my thing said looking back now i took out too much here but i know a girl that work with the flow so let's continue um just make sure say the edges them right before me even cut them you know you have a part it out and comb it out and everything and section it out and make sure you know how you want the edges exact but yeah guys see me i try to figure out i think me did end up going with like three edges though but yeah i'm just gonna wall it and take the sharp razor and just cut it see them cut it all more want it i'm mean, think there's a special way to cut it but yeah just but my, my guess my grab it down and cut it down so anyway you want to eat or anyway you comfortable with doing it yeah so i'm gonna take off the, the band there and wow see the lace there it probably want a little bit more makeup on me night but see they're looking nice to me wow 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 guys we're getting somewhere in this mat so. but i still like on the baby here them though you know i still like comb it out and i still like cut 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 and i still like add comb it in the process same way but yeah guys pretty simple let me say cut it measure it or you want it or you want it look you know the baby ear them where you want and you know where you are working but see, they just cut it how you want it okay guys so now i'm just gonna take the small flat iron and curl the baby ear them curl them in curl it in and curl it in it make it easier for for make the baby ear okay so it's still looking a little bit too big so my afro will cut some more off it so yeah see it there see the see the seat there go in and curl it again so you just go in and curl it like you're that curly ear or whatever and a little curling now you know bad 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 see me there try make it you now see me i try make it so i'm just gonna take the brush and i'm <laughs> why the baby ear ugly ear the baby i laugh after the baby ear too 
Like she said, mommy, that's not a nice baby here. I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, guys. It's crazy how I'm supposed to be here doing a tutorial. And my basically like, come off a camera and go do the edges. Them that fight me. I do the edges. I'm kind of wet up the ear a bit. I think I'll have to blow dry the hair though. So the curl them stay because I think the curl them did out of that video. But. This is it so far guys. I'm gonna blow dry it for the curling to stay and all of that. But I'm so so sorry. I think I did the edges off camera. I does the edges maybe you gotta do off camera to be honest. So yeah, let's continue. I said, guys, I'm tired so till I did all a chat foolish. I did all just a chat both edges them again, right? So so guys i put some more curling product in the hair and right of somebody just a blow dry it feet like i mean i know dry with the curling because as mother shown her before this is an older wig and the frontal part did look like it's straightened out so these are the only way maybe things that i could have get back the curl in a certain way but put mousse in it i put some curl activator and i put the contour something i always i use but yeah just a blow dry it out blow dry it blow dry it blow dry it I still a blow dry it. I never did a rush the process. The the sitting just a bun me every minute. But I never did a rush the process because my honestly just want to see how it really should be done. You can just use it on and you know that like a style or you can use a brush either way. But you yeah, guys, I was just blow drying it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my wax stick and put it, you know, like right above the edges. And then use my hot comb and hot comb it so it can give me the little the little bump look there. You know that little look there where gear at the front so the, the um the makeup partner just look flat straight down. But yes guys, there I go. Putting in the work because you know I want my ear for look really nice when I'm done. The hot combing step is a very important step, guys, because this right here make your wig just look you know upon fleek it just looks sleek and not look too too bulk up as me that explained to you know the little me and them on instagram love done the woman them about them them ear and all them ear look like helmet the hot comb step basically make your wig look flat and your wig not look like helmet because helmet wig it just not look good it get like a dead vibes so yeah guys i'm going in and my flat out the back my flat out the side me make the two um them on the two look umpy umpy what I put right there so and I just have flat out the size them as I tell you now a hundred times in another video yeah I will get a bit of hot comb like I have to get a bit of hot comb we're just hotter than this and we just work much 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 better than this but yeah guys as I said it looked like the back part right there so I did want flat out like a more steel but as I said I'm put on the flat iron so it is what it is and you know I just try and make the hair look nice and appropriate but see the wig yeah as me tell you no, this is a older wig but me I gonna reveal it no for no so see there why see it yeah see the install yeah why watch install why watch install my comb in total a little bit my have a little um moose pan the comb so yeah but why watch install see the guys remember some of the ears I just a practice my look at things so I can save money from time to time. You see me? See the ear and I make me know how it look too. No? The baby ear them that give me hell so that at the best I could have do the back part could have flat iron a little bit. At comb a little bit but I guess that can do down the line. But yes guys this is the hair. This is the finishing product. I hope you guys like it. And I make me know if you don't like it you know. I hope you watch the other video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share. I know I miss out a few steps like the edges. I not so perfect for edges yet, as you can see. I didn't reach the big dog for edges. So I did have to do that off camera. I think that's the only thing. And I think when I try to put down the wig, I think I never put that on camera. But I hope you guys learned something from this video. So you can save some money sometime, you know. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Mwah, mwah, mwah.